Hey, Eli Hodap, what is up, my man? Uh, nothing. Good. I'm I'm, I'm glad because uh, we're going to sit here. play some basketball. <laughs> we're going to sit here. We're going to play some Madden NBA 13. As a uh, major sports fan, I'm very excited for all sports games. Oh, hey, cool iCloud stuff. Yeah, yeah, and uh, because I have my my uh, weird account up, but we'll go ahead and skip over that. I'm gonna play my favorite team, the Cleveland Basketball Pacers. I mean, these guys are incredible. I think they won the World Series last year. And, you know, uh, congratulations to everyone. Did they? I don't know anything. Uh, if you're making sports jokes, I don't even know. I, I don't think I am, man. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm playing this as straight as possible. Straight shooter. Straight to the net. Welcome yeah, to straight to the net. Taking it to the hole and dominating. <laughs> this looks pretty good. Which oh, was, you know what, what always kills me about these games like this is like the audience immediately pulls me out of it. Right. Yeah, yeah. They look uh, especially bad this year, which is too bad. I mean, the thing the 2K series has always had going forward is the presentation, the crowds, the stadiums, the camera angles. And they're using all those uh, camera angles and stuff that they use in the console versions. Except, I don't know, it doesn't look so good in uh, in this. Yeah, I don't know. I almost wish that they would do games like this in like a Space Jam style basketball court, where it's just the court and dudes like the right. The stadium people do nothing for me. Well, why not just a Space Jam video game? Let's just do it. Let's go next level. I mean, that's some powerful mm. stuff. Space Jam, the video game. Let's do it. I think there is a Space Jam, the video game. What? It wouldn't surprise me if there's several Space Jam, the video games. Really? I need to get on this. This sounds like a good that, thing. That movie came out about the time where it was like, all right, well, we got a movie. Let's release this to the Game Boy, the NES, the Genesis, the Master System. Okay. Sega CD, Super Nintendo. I'm, I'm in. I, I, we need to Wikipedia this after we're done playing. Uh, Madden 13 here. My what goodness, many, as many things on the box, or a- as many boxes I can say Space Jam on them as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, uh, I slipped out of bounds. How about that? Uh, that's uh, minus two points. I think that's a safety if you do that. Uh, sports. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so how are you, how are you liking the controls in this? Uh, this game there's two methods of controls and maybe or maybe not you can move around these virtual controls i am not sure and uh, i'm not in a position to check right now brad nicholson really hedging your bets on this one but i will say the controls that are presented in front of me right now right (laughs) here default controls as they are presented (laughs) the default controls as they are presented to me right now right here uh while i'm playing this video game are not very good. Now, there is also a secondary mode of control. It's called One Touch. I used it last year with uh, Madden 12 or NBA Madden 12, and uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't so great either. This is one of those video games that you, you really need a controller, man. I, I, was, I was fiddling with the One Touch thing. Uh, it feels the same as last year. Oh, does it? Okay. There you go. I, I, mean, I don't know. I, I, I didn't, you know do a in-depth sports Ooh, comparison nice but i i seem to remember our, our criticism of it last year was you know that it felt like it was almost there right remember yeah but and it wasn't that's it's kind of it's kind of the same i mean like you can see where they're going with the uh, whole getting rid of virtual controls thing mm-hmm. but uh, you just don't have that like fine level of control that you need in a basketball game right exactly because with a single touch input because right now i want to pass the ball to reggie miller but i can't because i can't bring up a uh, button you could tap him maybe i don't know no it's not working because that's how it works in like madden madden right the real madden not the basketball madden right yeah exactly i think i don't know i don't know it's just you know it sucks when you're dribbling down the pitch here and you want to you want to just shoot the J uh to reggie miller and you just can't you can't which one's reggie miller is he in the red or the white uh, he's in the white. He's in the white They've of the uh, Toronto Pacers. They're keeping their heads up and passing up. Good <laughs> the, shots the fabled white of the shots. Toronto Pacers. The jersey is uh, in many stadiums all over the country because it looks so amazing. Uh, I see. I didn't know if you knew that. I just thought I'd add is, some sports is this, knowledge. Now, is this a is this a game that's running at a low frame rate on your iPad, or is this kind of like Angry Birds? Um, or I'm sorry, Bad Piggies, and that our capture stuff is kind of at a low frame rate. Yeah, the iPad version is just weird, man. Like it, oh, really? it, it, it like stutters. It, it looks like sometimes it looks like. So the this is stuff. the video is accurate, is what you're saying? Yes. Video. Yeah, yeah. It, 
Yeah, you'll notice a lot of hitches and stuff if you really start trying to look at it. It's a, uh, it's odd. It really is. And it, last year's was like that too. And I would almost, I almost want to say um, that maybe they didn't do anything visually to the game. <laughs> they they put a thirteen on the box. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough, okay. I guess. That's good enough. Uh. Why don't you uh, do some slam dunks or whatever? I would. I would. There is no slam dunk button, though, unfortunately. Are you sure? I I don't see it. Uh, mm. There needs have to be. You, have you looked into customizing the, <laughs> these controls? Because it doesn't sound like it. I looked into customizing the time and the quarters because I knew I knew this was going to be an experience that I wanted to shorten. Because <laughs> if you look here, the Miami Raptors are really beating me right now. I mean, they are just destroying me. If I was playing this game, you know what I'd be doing right now? It's trying to drink that Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, definitely. definitely. I, yeah, I love how sports games are as heavily sponsored as like the real-life counterparts. Like, I don't know if you've seen the uh, the new Madden football game, but oh my god, there there is literally presentation elements that are sponsored by Papa John's carbohydrate pizza. Well, of course there are. I mean, have like, you watched a sporting game on the television? <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I mean like, really, if you strip those goodness, advertisements, like the game wouldn't be as realistic. Deep, it's true. Well, you know, here's the thing too, though. There's a presentation element as well. It's like it's first and ten, sponsored by Verizon. Okay. No. <laughs> oh. It's it's nuts, and they're I guess they're doing political ads again this year too. Uh, campaigns can buy ad spots, which is cool, I guess. Defensive foul. If you're into yeah. ads, that's the kind of stuff you're into. Yeah, yeah. if you like looking at ads, Madden do like, 13. Do you like games with men and playing with various types of balls and goals right. and ads? Right. This is a game for you. Yeah. Do you ever uh, drink Gatorade, by the way? Let's just go ahead and turn this into a Gatorade uh, commercial. You know, I used to really, really like the uh, lemon-lime Gatorade when I was a yeah, kid. Yeah, I drink. Yeah, drinking it leisurely versus drinking it while you're sporting. A little different. Yeah. yeah, see, like, once I actually got into... Like, that was the, actually, that's kind of the funny thing of it. Like, I used to really enjoy just the Gatorade as the beverage, right? Mm -hmm. And then when I got into, like, working out and stuff, I'm like... Pfft. What? I'm not gonna drink these 200 calories. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, you know, I can't even drink it for leisure anymore. It's so like carb and sugar filled that it's just it just comes off as disgusting just from like uh, just the label alone. Yeah, I've actually found that um, as I've completely eradicated sugar from my diet, like anything sweet is like overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Places don't kid around with their sugar, um, I, I find. Anything you buy uh, that has sugar in it is, uh, wow, pretty gross. Generally. I mean, like, I, 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 on, on the crazy way that I'm eating, I can have, like, a sip of soda without, you know, like, really <laughs> messing anything up, right? Right, without doing the uh, mouth curl. My it's... mom is a chronic Pepsi drinker. Ah! Like, proper Pepsi, right? Yeah. So I was like, I was like, man, I haven't had soda in months. Let me try some of that. And just like a sip, it was like nauseating. Yeah, I haven't had proper soda in a while. Like I wonder, yeah. Ugh. I don't know. When I was younger, though, I was all Mountain Dew and Coke. Man, I, was, I, was, I was nuts. Man, I was, I was that kid. Way too much Brad Mountain Dew Nicholson. And uh, the drink with the Puma on it. What was that called? Jolt? Is that what uh, it is? Maybe. Or the cat. I had a kitty cat. Oh, no, Joel, Joel was the lightning bolt. What was it? Was this just an Indiana thing? I know what you're talking about because okay. I've had a similar conversation with someone that is like, no, no, no. The, the, well, all right, now do you call it? See, I've, I've been conditioned to call it soda now by being shamed by yep, same here. basically everyone. But it's pop. It'll always be pop to me. Yeah, yeah. I grew up, man. Pop was uh, where it's at. Go yeah. to the pop machine. Sorry, if, if you if you drink soda instead of pop, there's you're the wrong one, not me. I'm just <laughs> I'm conforming to society's standards. It's unfortunate that we have to leave our Midwestern heritage behind yeah. as we go out on the internet. You know, it's like if I if I didn't have to conform to society's standards, I would wear no shoes and no shirt and talk about pop all day long and and use the word tump. I've you you've heard the word tump, right? T u m p. Yes. No. It's a combination of throw and dump. Maybe this is just a Southwest Indiana thing. I don't I've know. I've never heard this before. 
Because in Southwest Indiana, you recycle your cans, you tump them. Uh, <laughs> you, you tump them at Oh, the- see, we, uh, in Illinois, we, we're, we've we never been a, uh, a uh, deposit state. So recycling is like, if you feel like it, do it. Otherwise, uh, yeah. no big deal. Yeah, so you can tump copper, you can tump bronze, you can tump whatever you want, man. It's great. You know, think of it, it should probably be rump. You know, uh, copper thievery has actually turned into a thing in my area lately. <laughs> what? Because yeah, I guess, I mean, and, and granted, I don't know. I mean, I know about as much about copper as you know about customizing so, so, virtual so, 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 controls, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, you read the local newspaper, like, people electrocuting themselves from, like, trying to steal these massive copper transformers and stuff. Because oh. copper's worth so much. The, the new thing in my neck of the woods yeah, is stealing uh, from ammonia from area, for methamphetamines. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's the new thing in southern Indiana. Well, that's that's, that's you know, what you do. Breaking Bad has led me to believe that that is not the vital component. Apparently it is these guys. Sudafed and, like, siphoning dudes' ammonia that are out of their fields. See, I know that that's what we call an amateur uh, 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 P2P type cook. Oh, I don't okay. know. Oh, it's right. some, some Breaking Bad fans are correct. I'll, I'll allow it. I don't touch. I don't touch bre- Breaking Bad. That has got way too many fans. Same oh, with Walking you Dead. should watch it. It's really good. I hear good things. I do. I hear a lot. So it's of almost them. over. So you might as well just wait for next year and then watch it in one shot. Yeah, that sounds about right. I did that with The West Wing, and uh, let me tell you, it was an amazing experience. I wish I would have done that with Lost. Because, man, that show is not fun watching week to week. I, I, I watched all four seasons in one burst or whatever it was and watched the last season on TV. And that was a terrible experience. Waiting a week uh, for those episodes. Yeah, and also enough, Lost is really stupid. So it doesn't <laughs> help when you get angry week by week instead of hour by hour. You know, it's, it's a lot easier to stomach, you know, if you have yeah. the next episode to get angry at. But, uh, yeah. oh, man, we are going to get some Lost emails. I love Lost. Greatest show ever. My goodness, that writing. How about that? It was, it was almost as good as Prometheus's. I always want. Oh man, you just you just beating the hornet's nest with the baseball bat I, today. I, what? Prometheus was a fantastic movie. Right no plot holes in sight. Um, I you know I always was expecting Lost to uh, like make the jump to sci-fi show, not a faith-based show. Yeah, it got weird. Yeah, you know, I, I really liked the first season, man. They they nailed a vibe. Like, oh, they, totally. they killed it. Like, I loved it for what it was. You know, this kind of, like, lost at sea, but weird things are happening kind of stuff. But then they started explaining it, and I was just kind of like, I don't like this anymore. But then yeah. but then there was that season where they started time traveling, right? And they had that little village that looked like a YMCA oh, a daycare. Spoiler zone. Oh, yeah, whoops. But that was good, too. I feel, I feel like that was kind of a return to form. And then it got weird again. I was kind of like, I don't know about this, guys. You know what else is weird? What's that? This video game. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, we're playing NBA uh, Madden 13. Um, yeah, I'm losing. But I'm coming back. I feel like... I think, I think, now, are you, the, are you the red or are you the white? Did we already go over this? Yes, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the Toronto Pacers. Oh, okay. So, uh, fabled white jersey, remember? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, it's been a while. Sorry, this game hold my, holds my attention so well. I remember <laughs> things like that. <laughs> As Eli looks at his phone. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. Uh, you know, I, I will say, uh, if you, if you want to play uh, soccer, or I mean basketball, on your phone, I feel like this is probably a way to go. Um, yeah. I, you know, I would say that one, one genuine weakness so that we have at Touch Arcade is that we have no one on staff that cares about sports games, like on any level. Right, right. I mean, on any level. Yeah, I mean, I love Madden. I love my Maddens. I don't know about Maddens on iPhone. Uh, I can't get into it, so I don't, yeah. I don't love it enough, I guess. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll find a sports fanatic. I've never watched... I, actually, I've watched one sports game in my entire life. Well, no, two, I guess. Uh, soccer games in Barcelona. Oh, yeah. What that was, was that fun. like? Well, it was fun because the, the energy level is so different from a typical American sporting event. Mm-hmm. Like I went to a uh, a Bears game, mm-hmm. uh, Chicago Bears football team. Okay, I, I was like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> so glad I paid like two hundred dollars to see this. Yeah, the tickets are outrageous. I, I I've seen the Colts only That's once in my life as a lifelong Colts fan. It, it pains me to say this, but you know what? I had a good time. I mean, but the problem is you have to sit. You pay like eight billion dollars for a seat that's like, I don't know, like a you're 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 a billion feet in the air. 
right and you can't really see anything yeah. I don't know. and you know yeah, heaven country. help you if you're hungry Brian or Merrick thirsty oh god yeah yeah definitely because the then you no have to walk to like the billion to yard walk to yeah. Yeah. It. i mean honestly i've never i've never really no pursued it but i think i would have just as much fun like watching like the local minor decision. leagues where tickets are like five dollars oh yeah yeah, I mean, I guess the game wouldn't be as fast, but it's still, it'd still be pretty good. I mean, the one thing I take away, or I took away from yeah, that experience, was uh, Rookie Williams play was playing against the Colts. I think he was with, uh, I don't think he was with the Saints. Look. I think he was with the Dolphins at the time. No, wait, no, never mind. Take it all back. It was Edron James for the Colts. That guy's thighs are bigger than my waist. I mean, he was huge. I've never seen a man that large that's, in my life. That's the takeaway. Yeah. If only you could focus on customizing virtual controls as much as you focus on other men's thighs. <laughs> I'm just saying, he looked amazing. And uh, so does NBA 2K13, I guess. Like, If you're into basketball, this is it. Yeah, it or if you're, like. if you're into soccer, I mean, yeah. Soccer, FIFA, Madden, yeah. sports. If you're into any sport, games, I think. I don't know, if you like sports. This is a video game for you. Yeah. Probably. That's, that's what it is. Yep. <laughs>